Christie are a London group who had a big hit with Yellow River, which was affected by the record ban in Australia. How do they feel about the record ban? Well, I think, you know, it would have been nice if we would have got the record plays, but uh, that's something we didn't really know too much about over here, and it just seemed to happen over there. And uh, still, you know, we did okay the rest of the world. Why are you doing an, Aust why are you doing an Australian tour then? Because uh, San Bernardino you're going to get a gold record for over there, but do you think that Yellow River should have been played? Definitely, yeah, I think it should have been played. It wasn't played. So, uh, so maybe when we go over in a couple of weeks, there might start some interest in sales of Yellow River, maybe. Did the group form to record Yellow River, or were you already formed as a group? No, the group formed specifically in the first place to form, to, to play Yellow River, to record it, uh, which we did, and we were going to wait and see what happened, because we'd all been playing in bands for years, you know, and uh, we just wanted to see what happened. We did it, and it happened. Do you regard yourself as studio musicians then? No. We're all just musicians who've been playing a long time, and um, we had a break about a year ago. So say you're not terribly involved in pop music as such, that it's just well, something to make money at at the moment? Well, in a way, yeah, obviously, but we're all very involved, you know, because we've been around for a long, long time. Jeff has, I have, you know, Paul has for more, five, six, seven, eight years, you know, different groups and bands. So we're all very involved as far as that's concerned. We're just trying to make things, you know, work out in every respect. London, <laughs> London particularly seems to have a, the fans seem to regard the best groups as being progressive. They've got to be heavy rock progressive groups. Do you think Christie is bubblegum and suffers for that? Well, I suppose a lot of people think we are bubblegum, you know, but the only way to find out is to come and see us working on stage live. But we don't really class ourselves any particular kind. We just do what we feel like we want to do and leave it to the people to, you know, decide how good we are, how bad we are. It's up to them. How important is touring to a group? It's very important because, um, you get chance to play to different audiences. I mean, uh, teenagers all over the world are very different. They like different music, and uh, it's great to be able to to play to different types of people. And, and also, it it gets uh, it gets a band really tight together. You get to live with each other, get together, and the band it either makes or breaks a band. If you're successful, you've made it. Jeff Christie consists of two guitars and a drum set. How flexible a, a grouping is that? Do you think? Um, you don't have as much scope as you would have if, you know, you were a bigger band. But on the other hand, you can... It's possibly easy to keep the whole thing tight. Vic, how do you see the future of pop music in England? There are so many stories that pop is dying on its feet here. Do you think it is? Well, I don't really know. I don't think it's dying at all. It's just that things go around the circle, you know? I mean, it just seems at the moment that sort of a rock and roll thing is coming back. Paul, how do you feel about audiences when you're on stage? Do you want them to sit and listen, or do you rather that they danced? Well, I suppose it's uh, it's it's up to them, really. They can they can uh, they can do whatever they want to enjoy themselves. You know, some people prefer to dance, some people prefer to watch. Um, it's better for us if if they are watching, sort of sat uh, you know to the stage because we can work to them better. The better uh, we can communicate if if the people are watching because there's lots of things happening all the time. It's much better if they are sat uh, watching the band, really. But one of the classic definitions of rock is that it's music that it makes you want to dance. Don't you think there's something wrong with music? music that makes, you know, gets too intellectual in a way? Well, I don't, yeah, we don't get too, we've more, we've like a visual show, you know, I mean, I mean we, we work really hard on stage and uh, unless, uh, unless you're watching, you can't really appreciate it.